Hey everybody, this is James. Welcome to WholeNewDad.com's How to Build Your Wife a Workbench. Now, I was highly motivated to build my wife a workbench because there were many days when I would see a crockpot on my workbench. I guess it was just a great place to cook delicious things. And there was a plug nearby, and uh, of course I would never mind if my wife wanted to cook something delicious on my workbench. But if I was dealing with something next to the crock pot, I would get nervous that there was food right there on my workbench or food that I would be eating. So I found a spot in the garage, first of all. Thought that was pretty important. I cleaned the spot up, some place that we'd be able to use, that she'd be able to have her own workbench and put her crock pot on it. There had to be a plug there. Then I skillfully drew up some plans. My dad was an architect, so it was not too difficult for me to do this kind of highly technical stuff. Anyway, so okay, maybe not very impressive. I went out, bought the wood that I needed based on the plans that I did. Measure twice, cut once. It's an old idea. And then I got to work. I cut the pieces. I used the materials and the tools that I had already. I had some shelving boards. The rest of the boards cost me under $20. I bought some nails to go with it, and that, that was a part of the cost. And then I got to my space, and I tacked up the feet first and measured out where the rest of the feet would go against the wall so that this entire workbench would be securely fitted against the wall. And then I got the rest of the boards and you can see how I nailed them on there rather than explaining it in fine detail. I'll just let you look at the pictures because I'm trusting that you're a guy and you're technical enough to handle that. And then I put it together. Take close, uh, take a close look there on how I did that. Uh, the rest of the information is on wholenewdad.com if you want specifics. Uh, Put the whole thing together, built the bottom. I changed the plans at this point. I was going to have four feet on the in the back and four feet up front, um, but it's such a small workbench, really, uh, that I thought that just the one foot. It looks a little weird here, but I thought that the one foot in the center would be okay, and if you don't like it, that's okay. Don't do it this way. And then in the back, I decided I'd match that, and then I built the second layer the same way that I built the first layer, that first bottom level, Put that on there, then I finished it off, and then we end up with kind of a nice looking shelf, uh, certainly something that is secure enough. It's bolted against the wall, not bolted really, it's nailed against the wall. And I do have some screws going into the top attaching to the legs. And yes, it's not attached to the cement. I could do that, but uh, I'll let you do that. You do that on your own someday, but don't do it on mine, okay? Anyway, and there you go. Crock-Pot fits nicely. Uh, and also a little battery charger that she uses for a, a vacuum cleaner. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for stopping by, and be sure to visit wholenewdad.com.